Welcome back to the channel and today I got something I think pretty exciting and I'm sure if you clicked on this video because of the thumbnail you might have thought it was exciting as well. We have a brand new offering from Remet Knives and what we have here is the brand new RT Swordfish. This is another gravity knife. You have beautiful titanium scales with some milled jig pattern in the tie on this side and on this side with a carbon fiber inlay. One thing that I noticed right off the back, I would have liked to see this little carbon fiber inlay underneath that as well. I know that's where they put their logo. Maybe they could put their logo there. I don't know. First impressions, I think it's a really, really cool idea. And to know that Remet has these type of ideas, in my opinion, it sets them on another level. I've already liked a lot of their stuff that I've reviewed on the channel. The last knife I reviewed from them, the Chameleon, I, I love that knife. It's a really good knife. And I saw the pictures of this one on Instagram and I was like, wow, really? So you have this little switch right here. And if you slide this switch forward, you're going to see these two little tabs come up. See the little tabs? That's what's holding the blade in the handle. I'm guessing it's on a track system. Slide it forward, gravity takes over, and there's your blade. So we have a Tanto M390 blade on this one. This one has satin flats and what they call their pearlescent finish on the primary and the swedge. A more of a satin, high satin finish on the pearlescent finish. So what's cool about this one is, is whenever the blade is out and those little tabs close in, they're calling that the gravity lock. So as you can see, it's locked into place right there. I'm going to be doing my normal testing with this. We'll see how that holds up. But definitely a genius idea if you always wanted a gravity knife, but you don't like that they don't lock. Kind of like Riot did with the XOK with the new that little slide button that they have on it. This seems to be a little bit stronger. I can't say for certain, but all in all, super cool. I do wish they had some pocket clip on here. Being this is a gravity knife, and I don't know how easy it is for those tabs to come open, I would like to have it tip up so you know you wouldn't have it tip down the pocket and somehow that come out. Uh, and the only way I guess you could do that is if you put a pocket clip right here, but then that, that would get in the way of the ergos. So I don't know, maybe a sheath system, some way to carry this. For me, it's either gonna go in an EDC pouch or maybe a, a slip sheath or something that I could put this in. Something with a pocket clip, preferably, like a leather slip with a pocket clip on it. That'd be cool. Kydex holster would be kind of cool. The total length on this is 7.83 inches long, so it's a nice medium size EDC knife. It's got a 3.15 inch Tanto blade, a bowler M390, like I said earlier. Your handle is 4.68 inches. The thickness in these tie scales is 0.55 inches, so it's gonna fill out the hand nicely. And the weight on this is only four ounces, and I say only because you got a lot of titanium here. And a decent stock thickness on that M390. You have a lanyard spot back here. Initial ergos, good because it's a very neutral handle. It's almost like a coffin shaped handle. I like how you have this texture here and here. So if you're holding it like this, if you had to do a, a thrusting motion, you're not only getting that texture, but you're also keeping that lock in place because once you open that, this thing's free. Having your fingers right there, you're add secondary strength to that lock, basically. So you have a good sharpening choil, it looks like. Should have a good bit of sharpening life before it widens back here. Pretty smooth, and I'm sure it'll get smoother over time. I want to take this apart so I can see how the internal works. If that's something y'all really wanna see, I could try it, but uh, you know, I may not be able to get it back together. I don't know. I don't know how, I'm, I have to look inside with a flashlight I do like how they left this side free of any hardware. That looks really nice. All you have is a little slide button and your hardware is on the back. It's like T6 hardware, which is another kind of bummer, but this is not one that you really need to take apart. It is T6 hardware there. The texture on the button. Now, I'll be honest, it is a little slick. They're not really that sharp. Hopefully you can see that. They're not really that deep. However, that said, I still 
easily can push it forward. No problem whatsoever. I, not once that I feel like I was a slip off of this because this is a spring loaded button just like when I'm out the front. You can actually hear the spring. You heard it whenever I let go. But yeah, now see, I did have <laughs> that happen to me a couple of times and I noticed it's whenever I am trying to do it with my right hand. I do it left-handed and drop it down like that. I guess because it's passing on this portion. I don't know how it's set up. I'm guessing it's set up in like a track system, kind of like an out the front, but without the mechanism that shoots the knife forward. In the first batch, there's only 150 of these made. I don't know how many they have left. They are still available at the time I'm filming this video. They are $259, which isn't crazy. You know, look at the Riot XOK. Not super crazy with all the titanium, the, the milling, and the uh, mechanism. See what I'm saying right there? Let's see. Maybe I, I'm going to have to check that out. Maybe I need to lube something. But, but when I do it left-handed, maybe I'm putting my finger on here. I, I didn't look at that. But as you can see, it goes out nicely that way. Let me try and make sure I keep my finger off that little wing right there. Yeah, that might have been it. Because if you're pushing on these wings, it's going to slow this blade down. Because I ha have my finger down there. So, yeah. That's what it was. As long as I keep my finger off of this and sit below it. It, it's very smooth. Got two brand new EDC fixed blades that I'm super, super excited about. One of them, I just got it a couple of days ago and I've already started testing it. This is the brand new Asher Knives Lil Buddy. I knew right when I saw the picture of this and the size, I knew I was gonna have to get this one. I bought this one myself after testing the Asher Knives Fixie. If y'all didn't see this review and testing, go check this one out. I like this one so much, I never saw this one. And the blade shape and everything, I jumped on it. So you have a taco style Kydex sheath. So it's just fold over. That's my favorite type whenever it's an EDC fixed blade. That way it keeps it a lot more minimal instead of two piece pancake sheath. Tons of lashing points. It comes with the pocket clip. Nice push off point. Positive retention, no rattle. You have a lanyard hole, bolt on, G10 scales with some nice texturing. They are contoured. When you look down at it, it looks flat, but it's just because of that texturing. It comes in this tan and black. The tan comes with the green Kydex. The black is black Kydex. So here is the knife. And you can see I already started testing this one. You had this beautiful drop point, same S90 V steel, full flat grind on this one. You got some good positive traction jimping. Well executed sharpening choil. Look at all the sharpening life. Where my fingernail is is how far you better go. It's still got a nice full size handle for at least my medium size hands. I get a nice four finger grip. And here it is next to the Fixie. It's a little shorter, which I am happy for. I think this one was 115, but for S90V, that's amazing. There is one thing that I like about this one more than I like about this one. But overall, as a package, I think this one's gonna be my favorite. You do have a nice raw stone wash finish there. The Asher logo on this side. And then a very discreet S90V steel right there. So, yep, that milling offers a good bit of traction. So, stay tuned for this one. The next one is one I wanted, I've been wanting for a, a long time, but they've been sold out forever. And that is the Axial Knives Alpine. Now, somebody let me know down in the comments are Axial Knives still around? Because I went on their, their website a couple of days ago and everything, everything on the a site was sold out. Now, it might, that might not be the same now, but it that don't look too good. So does anybody know they're still making out the fronts and uh, things like this? I've been waiting on their site for them to drop more of these, but I waited, waited, waited and felt like forever. So I kind of gave up. Well, I was on this site. It's called... Sophos, I think, S-O-P-H-O-S, Survival. And they actually had these in stock. And at the time of this video, they, it was still in stock. So this is what I'm talking about. You have the two-part sheath here. I don't love that because it just makes it a lot wider. If this would have been a folder or pancake, pancake sheath like the, the Asher, it could have been a good bit smaller. And it's an EDC fixed blade. You know, it comes with this tech lock style, small tech lock style system that does have a little locking mechanism here. 
you got to push that down to open it. I don't love these, but they do work good. Tons of lashing points. Uh, you have a small drainage hole on this side. I wish they would do those drainage holes through and through. Good push off spot. Now, my Kydex sheath is very loose. It holds it in, but to, if you barely put any pressure, it just slides out. I'm sure I could remold it, but kind of stinks getting out of the box like that. What you have here is an S35VN blade, and I like how they went with the long, longer blade and the little bit smaller handle, at least for my hand size, because I still get a four finger grip. Now, I mean, I just barely get four finger grip, so I'm guessing that handle's about maybe, it's probably three and a half inches or 3.6 inches, something like that, I don't know, but feels decent. Got micarta scales, bolt on, satin finish, dual fullers on both sides. It comes with this lanyard with the titanium bead on there. I'll be doing some testing with this one, see how I like it. And if by the time I'm finished testing with this one, if they're still available at that site, or find out that they will be producing more of these, I will do a full review. I don't want to do a full review of this, and I can't buy it. I just, I don't like doing that. But, like I said, at the time I'm shooting this video, they were still available. We got one more EDC fixed blade, or I guess you'd call it neck knife, keychain knife. But it is a fixed blade, and that is the new Demco Knives Armager 2. Comes with the, the key ring and the little clip system right here. So if you wanted to put it on a keychain or put uh, some paracord right here, hang it as a neck knife, you could. It does have some small eyelets. I bought it so I could hook this inside an EDC pouch, or at least I'm a try. Comes with this like thermoplastic sheath. These were, I think they're $25. So I got the shark's foot blade. You can also get it in this blade with serrated, a serrated edge. It has that same handle as the full size armature. It's like a hard rubber material. Do you even have a little sharpening chawl right there? And from the looks of it, I can see inside the little lanyard hole and it looks like this is a full tang construction. You can actually see the metal or it's a rat tang, one of the two. But I think I read these are full tang and I'm glad they had the lanyard hole because I, I can get a three finger, I can get three fingers in there and I would, I want to tie a little bulky knot right here so I can put my third finger on there. This is just something to maybe open up a package, break down a box, cut some string off of something, cut a zip tie off of something. Just make a quick cut and put it up. Super lightweight, and of course, it's not in any fancy steel. It's in 4034 stainless steel, which is similar to 428C, so it's definitely not going to hold an edge all that long, but you should be able to sharpen it up rather easily, and it should have some good corrosion resistance as well. I like how I can get my finger all the way down like that. If I had to do a drag cut through something, it's going to be very easy, so excellent utility blade shape. And now I want to check out the full-size armature one or whatever it is. Just can't decide which one I want. I think I'm going to get the double-edged drop point it is, is it, I think. Well, that does it for today's video. If any of these interest you, I will try to link them down in the description. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave those down below. Let me know which one of these knives you'd like to see a review on first. I think I'm going to start testing this one right now. And I'll try to finish the testing on this one pretty soon. All right, guys and girls. I hope everybody's having a great day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.